Okay, Mike. You got a pretty less paw. Okay, as you can see, one, two, three, third fret. I'm gonna play a regular G bar chord. Okay, if I take my little finger and put it on the B string, right here, okay? That's a six. If I move it to there, seven. Okay? The, this here six is also a 13. I'm not going to go into why it is, but it is. So anytime you take a bar chord, take your little finger, move it down to the same fret that your ring finger is in on the B string, it becomes a, a 13 chord. And that's G. To make a C9, take your ring finger and cover the bottom three strings. Skip your A string for right now. Go across with your middle finger and grab the A string in the same fret. So we got these three pressed right there. Going to skip the, the D string and go grab the A string. And then the one that we skip, we're going to put our index finger behind. So we've got this here from the A string down. C9, okay? And I will, when we get together in person, I'll explain why it's C9. So if I want to make it into a D9, I just go up the whole step. D9. G13. 